Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth. Girl, when I tell y'all, Ashley and Joy had me stressed. I, yeah, I said, oh, my God. Yeah, I said, oh, my God. I said, oh, my God, not my girls. Ugh. Y'all not like Ashley and Joy. I think everybody on, I think everybody's on the show was cool. Um... <laughs> okay, so listen. I was reading some of y'all comments from last week's episode. And after thinking about it, you know what it was? I do think, okay, I was conflating issues with Joy. Like, for example, I do think Joy was wrong with the whole um, Black and Sherelle situation as far as like, when Arena was basically saying that they were, that Black, not they, that Black was shady. And then, you know, Joy basically, when she met up with Sherelle, she said that she didn't basically say that. But in the end, she pretty much called him shady in her confessional. And also when she sat down with Arena and Ashley at Arena's mom's birthday party. So I think I was getting those issues uh, that I was conflating the two with the other with the issue with Ashley and Joy. Ashley was dead wrong. <laughs> she was. She was. Um, because the truth of the matter is, multiple things can be true at the same time. Yes, we can wonder why Joy didn't want to expose or let us let people know that her and Clifton were married. But it's also true that at the end of the day, she told you not to say nothing, <laughs> right? So she, she told you not to say anything, and she trusted you with this information. And Ashley kind of proved to some people as to why you can't tell people your business, because on Mad Day, they tell your tea. And that's exactly what Ashley did. Um, when she was mad at Joy... Um, for insinuating that she was fake and phony, she got upset and told her business after she told her not to. Um, so yeah, Joy has every right to be upset at Ashley. Now, I do want to know <laughs> why y'all holding this. Like, this is no Tino Shade because like I said, girl, I like Joy and I, I, there's nobody on the show I just dislike. I mean, the, sh the show ain't even been on for, girl, two <laughs> a season and a half. Um, but I do want to, you know, <laughs> like it's no, it's no Tino Shade. It, 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 I, I do want to know, like, why are y'all keeping it a secret? Why did you want to keep it a secret? Because it's not like, do not take this the wrong way, y'all, but it's not like she's this big reality TV star, right? And people were just like, girl, don't nobody really know who Joy and Clifton is. You see what I'm saying? So, like, what would be the purpose of you trying to hold it a secret? But nonetheless, again, that has nothing to do with the fact that Ashley shouldn't have said anything. Um, Ashley was wrong. Was my mic on? Yeah, Ashley was wrong. Um, you know, sometimes when you like people, that's, that's why I depend on y'all sometimes, because sometimes when you do like people, you may not, you may not see... Um, what other folks see, right? But I feel like I have enough uh, self-awareness to step outside of myself to, to look through it through other folks' lens. You know what I'm saying? So when I look through it through your lens, right, from the comments that y'all left in the comment, in, a, um, in the comment section, I was like, girl, they actually all right. Ashley was wrong. Ashley, girl, if you ever watched my videos, girl, you was dead wrong. <laughs> girl, you was dead wrong. Now, girl, you my girl and I'm going to stick beside you. But, girl, you was wrong. <laughs> um, and you was even more wrong to low-key to at the end of the episode. But we'll get into that. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, Ashley is having a birthday party. Well, not Ashley. Well, I mean, girl, quiet as it's kept. She said she had three kids. Did she say she had three kids, including her husband? I can't remember what she said the first season. But anyways, Ashley and Quick are having a birthday party for their daughter. Um, Ashley, she's turning 10 years old. Shout out to Ashley and Quick. Honey, it would have been about three kids on that birthday. Girl, them was, them was a lot. Of, girl, girl, I was stressed out. Girl I, girl, I was stressed out even looking at that. I said, that's a lot of kids. 
Girl, them, them, that was a lot of children. Girl, first of all, I said, I want to know how much. I, first of all, you know, I, I, I be wanting to count the people money. I said, first of all, girl, that's a, that's a lot of kids. Girl, and I want to know how much it costs for y'all to rent out this building. Girl, I know that's right. Um. Anyways, so um, Ashley needs to understand. Here, here y'all go again. You know, I was reading the comments, and just like one of you said in the comments section, Ashley got some nerve trying to basically force Joy to accept her apology when when it came to her in winter, girl. So it's just like. While Ashley, you may be on this, you know, forgiveness tour or this forgiveness journey, not tour, forgiveness journey where you try to forgive people, girl, everybody might not be on that journey. And the truth of the matter is joy has every right to be upset with you and you cannot force that woman. Yes, you apologize twice. Yes, you sent her some text messages, but that does not mean you have to accept it. Now, this is one thing I have been saying for the longest. We need to get out of. Just because someone apologizes, that means that you have to accept it. Now, that's one thing I, I've been saying forever. You, you do something to somebody and then people expect you to accept an apology once it's offered. I don't have to accept nothing, okay? Especially if I know that I'm not over it. And I think that joy comes across as mature enough to know that, girl, I'm not over this. So, no. I don't want to accept your apology. I'm not going to accept your apology because I'm still upset. <laughs> um, Arena and Joy meet up. Pretty much Clifton is in the hospital recovering from surgery. I think he had back surgery, right? Um, and again, I put Joy's right. Don't rush me when you're in the wrong. Ashley was in the wrong 100%. So you can't rush that woman to accept your apology. Um, Arena knew about the secret. She said she never told anyone, not even Jamie, because she said she can hold the secret. Um, quick, he went to the doctor. Um, his feet was dangling from the table. <laughs> um, but he's okay. So shout out to Quick and his health. Um, you know, I'm so happy that they took a, a mid because I feel like this is a part of a season, whether it's Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of Girl Potomac, where girl like the stories start to become repetitive. Right. Everybody's ba like they have to repeat the story 15 times. So like now Ashley has to, you know, Ashley's telling the story to her friend. Then she's telling it to her husband. Then she's, you know, and so like now Joy's telling the story to her husband, to her friend, then to her other friend. You know, so it, it, this is a part of the season where I start to get frustrated across all reality TV shows because when the mess starts to happen and it starts to kind of, you know, the people, it starts to become, again, it becomes repetitive because now, like, everybody's pretty much talking about the same stuff in almost every scene. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, Arena again, Joy meets up with her friend. I think her name was Danella. I can't, I can't remember. Um, Joy says that they talk about she. Joy makes a lot of sense. That's why I like Joy. Um, she has every right to have her antennas up when it comes to Ashley and her friend Alicia, but especially Ashley because again, that's your friend. Sherelle, you're talking about her wig, but I also understand that just because you're my friend don't mean I'm going to like your wig. So it could have been a possibility that Ashley had already told Sherelle, girl, I do not like that wig. And then Alicia and Ashley were having a conversation like, girl, why she, you know, one of those conversations that you probably already had with your friend. But in Joy's head, Joy's like, girl, you talking about your home girl and girl, what? You come across as little. But one thing I don't like about Joy is Joy. It's like we we, we played this. We played the we played the game of words. No, I didn't say you were fake and phony, but you insinuated she was fake and phony. No, you did not say the word shady. But then you come back and say the word shady. So that's one thing I don't like about Joy. It's like it's like this word game, and it's like okay, girl, whatever. Um. Arena and Jamie meet up with a sex was it was a, a sex therapist a swa oh no a swallowologist I said a swallowologist 
I said, I'm running. Girl, did y'all see when Jamie was walking down those stairs and he was holding onto that rail? <laughs> <laughs> when Jamie was walking down those stairs, he was holding onto that rail. And I said, I know that's right, because you know he fell the last time. Um, Jamie been living in that house for 59 years and still don't know how to walk down them stairs. Anyways, um, I'm going to say this much. I, I like the fact that the people on this show, they are being open and honest. I know it has to be very, 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 very uncomfortable to sit there and one, talk about your sex life in front of cameras in front of cameramen, knowing that the world is going to hear this, right? Um, and then two, you also have to kind of, you know, in a way critique your partner's um, skills in the bedroom. You know, Jamie made a comment like, you know, because, you know, Arena don't like, Arena don't like receiving oral sex. I said, some of y'all told me the same thing. You know, I thought that was strange at first. I thought that was the weirdest shit I had ever heard in my life. Um, but some of you told me that y'all are not into receiving oral sex either. I said, girl. Um, but Arena, I don't think Arena has, um, uh, I don't think Jamie has performed. I was about to, I was about to be real messy. I was about to say, Arena says she ain't received oral sex in three years. Now, I don't know if she ever received it from Jamie or not. <laughs> You see? you see how messy I was about to be? She said she ain't got eight out. She ain't got eight by Jamie. No, I don't know if she got eight. Let me shut up. Let me stop being messy. Um, but she hasn't, um, I think she said she hasn't really received oral sex in a few years. She's just not into it. And the first thing I thought about was, girl, probably Jamie don't know what he's doing. <laughs> girl. And Jamie in a confessional talking about, I know I'm not the problem. Uh, you might be, sir. <laughs> girl, you probably done nibbling like you eating on a chicken wing. Girl. Um, I think part of the problem with just people, all of us, is that we don't like to tell people when um, we don't like something, when it's uncomfortable. Girl, basically, we just don't like it. Um, I don't think Jamie ever knew that his teeth um, were a problem when performing oral on his wife. Um, I just got to chill. Um, you know, uh, but now he knows. So now he knows. Um, I was, I started to get uncomfortable when I said, girl, if they show this, the, the swallowologist wanted J uh, Arena to um, basically suck on Jamie's finger. I said, girl, I know they're not going to show this on TV. Like, I know they, I know they, and she had to pretend like she was giving Jamie head, but use, using his finger. Now, that was a, now that, like, I said, girl, that is so, like, I know they had to, like, can you imagine having to do this in front of, like, the producers who are probably standing right there watching, you know, the cameraman right there? Like, that, that would be so uncomfortable for me. And it's kind of like, girl, you have to try to do good because she's telling you to pretend that you she telling you to pretend that the finger is a is, is a penis. So girl, you wanna make sure that you girl you show the girls that girl you got girl, you know, you got you know your skills are up to par, but it's also like girl, I don't want the girls to see me girl slobbing on the knob like corn on the cob, checking for me and do your job. Lay on the bed, don't have to beg. <laughs> wait, wait. Lay on the bed, give me some head, don't have to ask, don't have to beg. Juicy is my night, girl. That's three six nine. Y'all remember this old school chat. Um and then Jamie had to pretend that he was eating Arena's coochie. She had to do her hand like this, and he had to pretend he was eating her coochie. Again, they didn't show it, thank God. Um, but yeah, I was like, girl, this has to be uncomfortable for them. So shout out to Jamie and Arena because I know that had to be a hard, or not just hard, but an uncomfortable scene to shoot. Um, the Christmas party. One thing I don't like about Ashley. See, I try to be fair. One thing I don't like about Ashley. I feel like Ashley feels as though people should want to be her friend. Like she pulled, I think like she, she's made it, it's like she's made it her life mission to let the girls know on the show, like we're not friends, we're not friends. Or you know, kind of like with Arena, here's finally the D to the friendship. Like girl, girl, look at my damn. Like the way that she would treat Winter, like we're not friends. Like girl, we get it girl. 
we get that you are not friendly like that to the point where girl, everybody can call you their friend. But I don't think you have to kind of like, like, okay, girl, you can calm down. We know you not. It, we know you're not everybody's friend. Um, Joy shows up. They didn't think Joy was coming because Joy was still upset. I'm sure the producers probably convinced her to go. But nonetheless, <laughs> without bringing the producers into it, because Joy is a grown woman, Joy shows up to Ashley's home for the Christmas party. Joy walks into that lady's house and does not speak. Oh, God. Joy, why did you walk into that lady's house and not speak? Ashley sees Joy. She goes and gets Joy. We need to go talk. Um, Joy basically tells her that basically, girl, we we gonna be coworkers. Outside of the, from what I got from what she was trying to say, without trying to say it is, girl, outside of this show, girl, I'm not gonna fool with you no more. Now, while we're shooting the show, we can be cordial. We can do what we need to do for the show. But outside of the show, girl, it's a wrap. Um, I don't think Ashley really liked that because I think that Ashley has been the one to Ashley, from what I've seen on the show, she's the one who uses the friend like you want to be my friend. Like she just gave Arena finally the D to friendship, right? I don't think anybody's ever really rejected <laughs> uh Ashley. So I think Joy telling Ashley to her face, basically, girl, we not friends. I think that Ashley really felt some way about that. Um, Ashley starts, I brought you into this show. You didn't even say thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When, Ashley, when, Joy was, when Joy was like, um, I was already on TV before you, Ashley said you was on a game show. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell y'all, <laughs> Ashley and Joy were going at it. Now, I'm going to say this much. I love Ashley, and I'm going to stick beside her. But that don't have nothing to do with me calling out stuff, especially when I see that it's wrong. It's one thing when I don't see it, and y'all have to call it out, and I'm like, oh, girl, I see what you're saying now. But I see this for myself. Ashley, you got it bad getting into a bitch face. <laughs> girl. Because I felt like even when you were talking to Winter, and I remember mentioning this in my review, I remember saying that, girl, Ashley do a lot with her hand movements. She was doing a lot with Winter when they were outside of that, that fitness class. Today, you got all up in Joy's face. Thank God Joy ain't scared of you because I, Joy, didn't bu Joy didn't budge not one time. But you got it bad getting into, to getting into folks' space. <laughs> okay? Now, either Ashley really can fight in real life because I was like, this is about to go left real fast. Ashley, you was dead ass wrong for yanking that woman's cane out of her hand, basically putting your hands on her. <laughs> Baby, when Joy told Ashley, though, you want to be friends on the show or fucked up in real life, you're going to have to pick one. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I said, girl, oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I said, the girls. Oh, fighting, girl. When I tell you, bitch, I'm not going to lie. Bitch, when I tell you, girl, I was entertained. I don't give a damn what y'all say, girl. Bitch, when I tell you, Joy and Ashley was going toe to toe. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, you know, I'm a little messy, bitch, but I loved it, girl. I did. When I tell you, baby, Joy and Ashley was going toe to toe. <laughs> I was like, oh baby. They is putting on the show. <laughs> Girl, that's the type of shit. It's just that I wish that Ashley, you know, it didn't get it did not get physical, thank God. But it got to the point where she really was in that woman's space. Um I saw her yank her cane out of her hand. Um, because Joy had a cane. It was a, they were all kind of dressed up in like, you know, Christmas, Christmas gear costumes whatever drink co christmas colors and all that good stuff um but i i was here for it um i was nervous because like i said girl you know i i like joy and i like ashley so i was just over here girl like girl my girls is really girl they is really they is really showing their ass but it was really more so ashley 
Um, I think Ashley feels because she, I will say that Ashley was right. Um, Girl, you could have. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not gonna get it. I don't. I'm not gonna get into who brought who onto the show. But I also told y'all. See, I be saying this stuff. Didn't I tell y'all that I felt like somebody has put a battery in Ashley's back, and Ashley thinks that she's the HBIC because the way that Ashley was talking to Joy, you you would have sworn that she was Carlos's girl, right hand woman. You're like. Ashley, do you got any firing or hiring power at, for the TV show? Because the way you cutting up and acting in front of Joy's face is like, girl, I brought you into the group. I can take you out. <laughs> girl, you can't. You didn't hire her. Now, you probably pitched her name. But at the end of the day, girl, you ain't cutting no checks, <laughs> girl. Um, <laughs> girl, when Joy called her up, uh, she said this in a confessional. When she called Ashley a, a curly hair barefoot troll, <laughs> I said, girl, ooh, child, ooh, child. But yeah, Ashley was wrong. Ashley was wrong. When it comes to Ashley and Joy, Ashley is like 99%. She needs to take 99% of the reason why they're not where they are. Now, yes, Joy did walk into that lady's house and didn't speak. That was absolutely wrong. I'll say Joy, Joy, okay, Ashley needs to take 95%, Joy needs to take 5%. But the, the Ashley, the reason why Joy and Ashley are not cool is really because of Ashley. <laughs> but I don't care though. Ashley, girl, you the girl, you the Kenya of the show, girl. <laughs> girl, they done made you into the Kenya. Girl, you the Kenya, you the Kenya in a, in a Candace, girl. They done put you into the villain role, honey, girl. You better live, you better just do your job. <laughs> you can't be worried. Cause I saw the other day, I think she put on uh on Instagram, not Instagram, Twitter, I think she said something about it may be time for her to step back from the show. Girl, don't step back, honey. You wanted it, <laughs> girl. You better call Kenya and ask them how they deal with it. Cause Kenya don't care. Girl, just show up, do your job. <laughs> Collect your check and go home, okay? Anyway, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. And I don't know when it's coming back because it was a mid-season. This was a mid-season finale, so I don't know when it's going to return. Hopefully, when they do return, it's only probably about 10 episodes left, and they don't pull that BS they pulled with Love and Marriage Huntsville where they had 30 episodes for last season. Girl, hopefully, they only got about eight because it ain't that much going on. Give us about seven more episodes. Honestly, they can give us about seven more episodes. Girl, wrap it up. Give the reunion. And then, girl, we done with DC. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.